Okay, let's look at how many meals a day I should eat. Now, this is individual. How many meals a day should I eat? Okay, when in terms of fat loss, it comes down to your daily calorie intake. So it doesn't really matter. What matters is your total calorie each day. So depending on how someone's life set up, that could be one meals, that could be two meals, three meals, four meals, five meals. It doesn't really matter. There is a myth that's probably been held in the past that more meals speeds up your metabolism and this is simply not the case. There is a caveat to this when looking at toning up and the maximal way to lose fat and tone up. To do this, it would probably be three meals a day and that's because when we're losing fat, there is a risk of losing muscle. To maintain muscle as best as possible, we want to be getting some kind of protein intake every three to four hours, okay? So um, three times four, that will be over a 12 hour period, three main meals with a sufficient amount of protein with each one. There is a few caveats that we also want to take into account. We want to look at the person's, person's personal preference, we want to look at their lifestyle, and we want to work, look at what hasn't worked before. In terms of preference and a lifestyle, someone may have a lifestyle where they're going for business meeting, meetings in the evening, they're having big family dinners, so they may want to hold on fast through the first half of the day and then consume the majority of their calories over one or two really big meals. Again, gives them the illusion that they don't feel like they're dieting. If that's something they find better than three meals, well then that is better for them because they can stick to long term. So that's probably better than what's most optimal in terms of science. Um, what hasn't worked before, that person may have tried to tried the fast for a few weeks, but then they end up consuming too much calories for lunch or dinner because they get too hungry. Okay, well then that may not be the one for you. If you're trying to get in between, something in between where you have a lot of your calories at night time, but you still want what's most optimal in terms of muscle retention, muscle gain and fat loss, well then it could be a case that you have something really light that contains a good amount of protein. For example, a protein shake in the morning with your coffee, some amino acids if you're not necessarily like whey. Egg white omelet, again, 100 calories, but you're still hitting your protein target. We're always trying to find the balance between what's optimal in terms of science, what's optimal in terms of that person's lifestyle and preference, match it, find a way of eating that can stick to long term, and that is going to be the best course of action. So wrapping up, doesn't really matter in terms of weight loss, when you consume your calories, but the most optimal way of eating to maintain muscle would be to get a source of protein every three to four hours, being in a calorie deficit.